Hello everyone, let's get started. In this video I will try to explain what a bridge asset is. I have no financial interests and I have no sponsored links. Please check out the description of all my videos. Mostly I attach additional information and documents there. Recently there has been some confusion about what a bridge asset is, what it means and about corridors and I'll try to explain both of these things in this video. This formula shows how connections normally are calculated. If we are four people I can have a connection with three other people and each of us four will have that so four times three divided by two if we shake hands. If it's a unidirectional connection and the same but backwards is counted as well then we even could forget to divide it by two. That basically means that those in the XRP community who think US dollar Mexican peso and Mexican peso US dollar are two corridors then you should even forget about divided by two part. I have posted several mentionings of ripple um, representative people that for ripple the term currency is a corridor in and out to a currency so the formula is actually just the amount the sum of the amount of currencies US dollar Mexican peso and euro would be three corridors how ripple calls it I agree maybe the term is a bit misleading but that's how they use it. But let me now explain what a bridge asset is and why we then can know that the formula is simply the amount of currency. I was challenged by that by Broad Knoblauch House, which is a parody account of Brad Carling House. He basically stated that both directions have to be counted in and out. And I was thinking about that. Is it really true if Ripple announces the Euro corridor that we can only send money into Euro? I'm not sure. And the reason is sending out money will always be possible. The easy part is sending out XRP. The other side is the difficult part where you need to exchange XRP back into fiat currency. Which is why you can get a good picture with the following presentation. You have a country, you have a second country and you build the bridge. You have a third country you have the first bridge, you can build the second bridge and also the third between the second and the third country. Comes along a fourth country and then you can basically build the bridge. It's always the same bridge, that's important. It's not different bridges, it's a kind of moving bridge because XRP, that's the purpose of XRP. It's totally neutral. You can use it between any two currencies or countries if you so want. So I summarize again. The importance is the receiving country because there you will receive XRP and you will need to be able to exchange into the fiat from that particular country. And it needs market makers in order to be able to do so. Sending XRP will be possible from any country because it will always be possible to buy enough XRP. But to sell and receive fiat, that's the complicated part in that game. 